Boogity, 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 it's on the master head. Sorry, you're gonna have to forgive me about my voice, it's kind of hoarse. <clears throat> Been the uh, screaming, yelling, arguing with a lot of people last two weeks. And this video is not about all this shit about the uh, stalker, the, the attorneys, well, my attorneys, and uh, the lawsuit, and the sheriff's office, all that drama. But today is about AK Mags. Um, this is a project video, so I got ten here. There, it's not in them. I put the springs in this priority box. I got a ton of them, ton of these priority boxes. So I got ten. Of this, these are from uh, ClassicFirearms.com, and they're pretty cheap. They're nine dollars a pop. Well, they used to be seven until someone, I'm not gonna name who, <coughs> ammo, and um. They went from seven dollars to nine ninety nine, but they're they're cheap. Literally, they're um cheap sheet steel, made into an AK mag. I've cut my finger on these like like uh, in the same place four times. Uh, if it's good, if you're gonna see that, but I've cut my thumb open four times. Um, they're they're literally they're they're nine ninety nine cheap and they're made of cheap sheet steel. They're basically folded into an AK mag and, and pretty much that's it they're cheap but whatever they work although I would like to take a file and file the front down just a bit you see how it doesn't match it like that it doesn't match up that causes a couple feeding problems which you gotta then slap the uh, charging handle forward for it to strip around Alright, so I got 10 magazines here. I took the insides out. The insides are right there. The springs and the followers. Uh, the, butt, the butt plates are still on them because I'm going to be painting those underneath them on a piece of uh, packing paper. Whereas these are going to be on on hangers. Got a ton of hangers here. And I'm going to be spraying them with <clears throat> rust -oleum. I was going to use Krylon, but somebody said that if uh, you're going to spray them, use Rust-Oleum. It's, uh, it's better, stronger, lasts longer, and um, even if it starts coming off, it'll still protect them against the uh, weather. Um, yeah, so I got some of this stuff. Unlike Krylon, though, this stuff takes a couple hours to dry. Um... I hate it being hot outside, but the stuff says that, it, you know, if it's like hot outside, it dries quicker, but if it's cold out, it takes longer. Well, I prefer it being cooler out. Well, ventilated area, um, anyway, it's going to take a couple hours. That's fine. I'm going to leave them, I'm going to leave them on the wire hangers and just let them dry and not fuck with them. And also, I got, it was on sale on aimsurplus.com. I got, I, well, this is how it went. I ordered, I ordered eight boxes of Wolf 760x39, uh, 760 39 full metal jacket Wolf. The, you know, the perfect little two cubic inch boxes. And, um or three cubic inch boxes and what I got was 12 boxes of WPA hollow point Here, let me take one out yeah I ordered eight boxes of wolf and what they sent me was 12 boxes of WPA hollow point 769 hollow point I'm not complaining it's just it's kind of funny yeah my own house, well, in my own room, and here's my Dra my mini Draco. I love this gun. It is my nightstand gun. Likes this. It is loaded. I'm not gonna mess with it. Uh, there's not one in the chamber, but the magazine is loaded. And I also got from a from a dealer that I know three three brand new cans of Ballastol for ten bucks. Not bad. So, um, I'm going to start spray painting, I'm going to start setting up and spray painting them. 
uh, I'll continue the video when I'm done. And also, today is the 23rd. Uh, put, I might put this video up tomorrow so that uh, Stalker doesn't go, Oh, 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 look what he's doing, look what he's doing. Go over to his house right now. Ooh. Yeah, had no, I've had enough fucking visits from the sheriff's office trying to harass me for this week. Anyway. Oh, these things still stink. All right, so I got I sprayed them all. Only I think three of them are pretty decent. The rest kind of got wet and fucked up applicating spray paint on them. This one got wet. Freaking Florida weather. I mean, it's been so windy, but it's not cool anymore. The cold weather disappeared, so it's been hot. But then it turns stagnant. Then it turns windy. Then there was a slight drizzle. So some of the mags are not... They didn't get applied very well. It, like one side is fine. Like it's still drying. I took them in yesterday. They're still drying. They're still, I can feel that they're still sticky. So they're not fully dried. So yeah, yeah, I didn't do a good job. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. They're just AK mags. I missed a spot. They're just AK mags. I had to hurry up and bring them inside the house. Otherwise, they all would have gotten wet. This one actually came out pretty darn good. It's painted on uh, every side. Oh, I missed the back of the rib right here. See where it's gray? Right there. I guess that's not the good one then. Next time I'm just gonna go with Krylon. Screw this uh, stupid enamel Rustoleum crap. Rustoleum sucks. I'll just go with Krylon next time. That stuff is way better. I mean, Krylon just... Pss, pss, and uh, you wait half an hour, 45 minutes max, and it's done. This stuff, it's been two days, and it's still not dry. Yeah, it's still sticky. Let's get more of them in here. Yeah. And the application really sucks. Well, this side's actually pretty good. Sorry about the lighting conditions. Like you see right there, like this is it's this is not great. It's black, but there's just enough to where it's good. I overused some of it. I overused some of the uh, stolium. I mean, that stuff comes out. It doesn't have a, a good applicator, so it just comes out. This one's fucked up. Let them dry for a couple more days, and uh, then load them up. Yeah, this one's fucked up too. This side's alright, but it's still fucked up. This one's still really sticky on this side. It's still wet. And they've been in the house since, yeah, about 12 hours. Since yesterday afternoon, they're still wet. Alright, this side looks up. Uh, spoke too soon. Yeah, this side's still very wet. Uh, that's all of them. Uh, it's grizzling outside right now. Can't see it. But, um, I didn't do the floor plates right here. These will be a 
these will be a cinch. I'll just put them down on a piece of plastic. And I dropped them on the floor like an idiot. I'll just put them on a piece of plastic and just... That'll be it. These look like razor blades. At least they won't rust. <laughs> At least they won't rust. I mean, the inside is still gray, but that's fine. The inside will have oil in them. The outside is what needs to be protected. And, uh, I, don't know, I guess that's it. When they dry uh, more, I'll uh, put the springs back in, load them up, and... I guess I'll make another video. Alright, but that's it for this video. And, uh, it took a total of like three days, which isn't a very good amount of time. Actually, sounds like too much time. So, yeah, next time, um, when I buy more of these Korean mags, I'm just gonna use some freaking semi gloss Krylon with the, uh, control nozzle. This, uh, Rust oleum stuff sucks. Alright, thanks for watching.